the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So we are back again with an another webinar this week. Our speaker for today is Mr. Ashwin Kumar, sir. He's currently an MLH coach, uh, MLH top 50 candidate, a GitHub campus expert, and a Microsoft Learn student ambassador also. He has run over 12 global hackathons and participated, mentored, and judged over 55 plus hackathons in the past two years. He has also previously spoken at Open Source Summit North America 2022 and Kubicon. Now let's welcome Sir to en enlighten us on hacking hackathons for career. Sir, please continue. Yeah, please don't call me, sir. I feel old. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Ashwin Kumar Uppala. Thank you for the wonderful introduction, Ashwini. That was great. Uh, and thank you for the whole team for organizing this. I'm, I'm really happy uh, that you all are passionate for hackathons and want to spread about hackathons in your campus. Uh, I don't want to make this a very linear conversation. I, I want like, uh, you know, throw all the hard questions at me and I'll I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I do have a small slide prepared for you, but I don't believe in like presentation format. It's it's too boring. I just created some slides for visual effects. But uh, if we have like, a, do we have a chat enabled for questions? Uh, I would love for the audience to like ask questions and I'd love to know how you, how your journey has been and how I can help you with that. That would be more valuable uh, if possible. So, uh, Team, if you can just enable the chat or a Q&A section, that would be awesome. Uh, but let me go ahead and share yes, sir, my yes, screen. Thank you so much, Ashwini. Uh, yes, sir, we are, we are happy. Oh, let me see. Uh, can you see my screen? Just a quick check. Yes, sir, yes we sir. can see your screen. Awesome. Amazing, amazing. So, uh, Welcome to Hacking Hackathons for your career. Uh, if you don't know what is a hackathon, great question. Uh, hackathon is, in simple words, more than just coding. Uh, you might have heard or you might think that it is about coding. It's way more than that, and coding is the least of your problems. You know, in simple words, hackathon is like a 24-hour marathon where you have to solve a problem. You don't have to code. You have to solve a problem. Uh, the best way to understand is to participate in one. Uh, how, where, uh, whom can I participate? I will answer that. But first, I would like to introduce myself again. Uh, my name is Ashwin Kumar Uppala. Uh, I'm currently an incoming intern at GitHub, building the internships program. Uh, like Ashwini said, I'm also have been an MLS Top 50 candidate and is also currently hackathon coach at Major League Hacking. I love hackathons. I have spent the past two years doing a ton of hackathons. That's how I started my journey in tech and in communities. I'm also a GitHub Campus expert and have been a speaker at KubeCon and Open Source Summit. That means I love engaging with the community, talking about technology and communities. I love pizza and pancakes, and I'm also in my final year of my undergraduation. So you can just call me Ashwin. Uh, calling sir just feels old. <laughs> That's totally all right. OK, uh, sure, sure. so <laughs> thank you so much. Now, hackathons, when I when I usually ask students what hackathon is and they say like, oh, it's about coding or oh, OK, uh, you know, uh, we are going to hackathons because we will get certificates or uh, free food or, you know, the prizes are awesome, like one lakh, two lakh or there's an iPad or something like that, which is great. But uh, hackathons are much more than the incentives. The incentives are there to attract you, uh, to encourage you to participate in hackathons. The same way you might be here, uh, maybe there will be a certificate or do you want to answer some questions or you are just curious. Uh, that's good. That's great. But hackathons give you back in ways that you don't know really. In fact, a lot of folks that you see out there who are doing great in technology in their jobs, have attended at least one hackathon in their career. Uh, now, the thing about hackathons is there are of two types. Now, because of pandemic, virtual are the ones, but originally hackathons were in person. You go to a venue, you spend 24 hours or 48 hours overnight in that venue. 
So they provide you food, they provide you current and Wi-Fi and everything else that you need. Uh, you just have to take your laptop. You can take a team or you can make a team there and then you, you solve a problem. Uh, could be anything. Either the organizers must have given you a problem that, hey, you want to build on something on sustainability or something on global warming or anything like that. Or you come up with a problem that you are facing and you want to solve it by technology. Uh, you can use your own technology or you can use the technology provided in a hackathon. The point is you, you try to build something in a very short time and you learn in that process about teamwork. You learn about a new technology and it's fun. All of that, the best part is that hackathons are fun compared to you making something by your own. Like you sit on Sunday night evening or you open Google and you're like, how do I learn React? And the first thing that you see is, you know, make a to-do app or a YouTube tutorial on making a social media app or a Netflix clone and stuff like that. Fine, that's great. But is it adding value? Will anyone use your to-do app? Is that really show your skills? Because anyone can do that. I have to just copy paste the code. So are you really solving a real world problem? So hackathons for starters not only give you a project it gives you a profile to showcase yourself in your resume uh, one of the strongest points that i have found from hackathons are the networks uh, when i say networks the people that i connect with in hackathon could be the teammates that i found or could be other people that i just you know hang out with during the hackathon phase during workshops and events and that has came out to be the strongest uh, advantage of participating in hackathons. You meet people of so many different backgrounds that the opportunity you are exposed to is much higher compared to if you're not doing a hackathon, if you're just relying on online networking or no networking at all. So hackathon brings you closer to the right folks that you want to be like. For in my case, I wanted to be uh, like folks who are super enthusiastic, super energetic, do great work in the community. And it was so difficult for me to find them via LinkedIn or DMing people, you know, uh, because people are busy or not everyone uses LinkedIn. And when I started doing hackathon, I was able to meet so many new folks. Uh, I was able to team up with them. And uh, you end up in like, you know, this circle of like-minded people. And that's what I found. Like, you can find so many amazing people. You can find amazing sponsors, uh, people that have industry experience who come as mentors into Hackathon, people who come as judges. Uh, you can network with all of them for your own career growth. So I have found some amazing people in the community uh, who started as hackers like me, absolute beginners, and now have done some great stuff in, the, in, the, in their career, in their own career, thanks to hackathons. So these three folks are uh, some of my teammates that I hack constantly with. And when we're not hacking, we do some great work in the community and career-wise too. Uh, now, because of this network, I have found that I am closer to latest opportunities because people know me simply because of that. So I know like say 10 people and one of them has an opportunity and they feel like Ashwin, you know, is the best person to get it. They will reach out to me first and then they will probably make an announcement. So because you network with so many people at Hackathon, opportunities come looking for you instead of you looking to them. Uh, there was a time when I was in my first year. I used to check out LinkedIn every day or, you know, hacker rank and careers pages to see uh, what is the right role fit for me. And then I'll apply. But when I started networking, when I started going to hackathons and made as many networks as possible, a lot of people came out to me telling that, hey, uh, we are, I came to hear about this opportunity and I feel you are the right person for this. And I did not even have to work for it. Uh, my networks worked for me. So when you're going to hackathons or when you get to go to hackathons, you get to network with a lot of people that increases your value for your career growth.
now a lot of people uh, in tech especially uh, you know talk to me and say hey ashwin uh, okay we got the sd job we got software development job and then uh, um, you know it's so hard to communicate with my manager or uh, how do you do this like how do you talk in events like these like what where, where i am talking now chances are you want to be in like me uh, you want to talk in college events you want to inspire folks which is a great thing i highly encourage that but how you do it uh, i'm so bad at public speaking i am i don't know how to communicate and i say do hackathon uh, public speaking is included in the pack uh, when you do a hackathon there is something called a demo phase when you are done with the project you have to demo your project to the judges uh, that could be either recording a video or doing it live how do you do that you have to present your idea you have to present a problem statement you have to explain how did you solve it uh, what's your approach in the best way in a time in a very constructed time and that gives you a lot of challenge that forces you to come out of your comfort zone and try out public speaking uh, now normally when there is a team of four members in a hackathon one person handles the public speaking other one does the coding and you know everyone does code but you delegate stuff and i was the person who would take up in charge of demoing stuff like hey i want to demo our project to the judges and i would be the one recording videos i was absolute crap in my first video if you see on youtube don't check out my youtube but if you do my first view my first few videos on demoing my hackathon projects are very very bad and i'm like oh my god how bad is that and i'm so grateful that i tried so if you want an opportunity to test out your public speaking skills and you you don't have to wait for one year for some opportunity to start like you know your college might have public speaking competition which happens once or twice a year you don't have to wait that long participate in a hackathon and there are ways you can contribute in a team without coding and you learn a ton of soft skills i got to learn public speaking i got to learn team delegation how do i divide my task between my team uh, i got to learn <clears throat> how to work async uh, if you are planning to work remotely which a lot of tech companies are how do you work when someone else is sleeping in the other time zone i get to team up with people from north america and canada like there's a one team i was one from asia and then another team member from north america another one from europe how do i divide my work so they can catch it up when i'm sleeping so i learned that async communication and uh, a ton of stuff which is way more than important than coding i can learn any time to code i just have to open google or chat gpt and uh, go to the documentation and i can barely take a week to learn a whole new language but public speaking skills or soft skills takes time and practice and hackathons are a great way to test that out and to improve that because you are surrounded by public speakers and hackathons there are mentors there are judges there are speakers you can go talk to them and say how do you do it and you can just observe how they are doing those soft skills it's a great uh, very powerful soft skill that you can learn via hackathons uh another question that i often get when i recommend students to participate in hackathon the first excuse is uh and i have classes and uh, classes are important that's fine i absolutely encourage not missing classes like for hackathons for anything else uh i personally used to i was lucky i guess because i was in pandemic but uh you would be surprised most of the hackathons happen during the weekend you see hackathons are organized by students mostly and students know the commitments of other students uh, which are the attendees so most of the student hackathons that you want to attend happen over the weekend saturday sunday or just sunday or starting friday so you don't get to miss anything in your classes i uh, used to attend major league hacking hackathons which happen you know friday to sunday so it starts virtually and it has starts friday evening i don't have to miss anything from my classes like i can attend classes on friday and on saturday to come back home and just resume hacking virtually if you feel like you don't want to travel you can do a virtual hackathon that's that's a different essence like you you have a lot of flexibility in virtual hackathon uh 
you get to meet a lot of people around the country and around the globe in in person hackathon you get to learn a lot in person you get a lot of swags in person you get free food uh you get to net the networking in in person is a whole different ball game that's very effective so you can pick your domain wisely i would say try both in person and virtual i have done both and uh, hackathons happen on weekends so you cannot say that oh i have classes or if you are worried about classes you don't have to because there is nothing uh, that is going to you know conflict with your time at hackathons here now a lot of people say like hackathon projects which happen which you make uh, in 24 hours usually end up being not used at all uh, you make let's say a game obviously you want to use it after the hackathon ends and if you make let's say a productivity app a pomodoro timer let's say from your from your uh, let's say region react and with a team a very cool pomodoro app chances are you may not use it ever again because it's not complete and stuff like that uh, but hackathon has bought some really really good and cool projects in the world you, some of them you might use and some of them you don't know you are using already uh, elastic search is a very form a very popular cloud application a cloud storage service helm a very popular kubernetes chart storage uh, zapier is an automation form a lot of you might know trogdes is a chart api uh, these are a very popular business oriented tools you don't know you are using but a lot of time you end up using it or the tools that you are using like gmail and services use these services and they started as a hackathon project uh, helm was like an internal hackathon in a company they were just you know, hacking out and making something fun and they thought okay you know what uh, this is something new that i have tried and uh, what if we just you know deploy it to production and see how other people think about it and helm blew up everyone just love using that a lot of tools like that uh, start up as hackathon and end up using a real world product uh, i guess a lot of startup ideas also start via hackathon because you are brainstorming so much uh hackathon is a great place for you to start something fresh and not risk a lot of resources you know uh, unlike in a startup incubation where you have to put a lot of time probably some money and effort to make something which has to generate some income or some value hackathon it's like your choice you want to invest you don't want to uh the hackathon organizers provide you with credits and resources to use you can you are free to experiment you don't have anything at stake you don't have any risks to take so if something comes great you can really turn it into a real world tool now that is a lot hackathons can increment implement you in a lot of ways i teach you skills how to collaborate open source if you don't know open source it is a whole amazing concept of uh free and open uh prob- like tools for everyone it's not just code uh, github is a great example open source means uh, let's take an android for example uh, android is open source that's why every company uh that you see has android os in that because it's free to use for everyone with a license python is open source that means if you find something wrong with python you want to add a feature you can go to the python organization and say hey i want to contribute you can see the code of python and you can contribute on your own vlc media player is a very popular open source project that a lot of you might have used for watching movies and stuff it is open source that means i can go and contribute to vsc vlc's co- source code and add a feature or fix a bug on my own so hackathon teaches you how to use open source a very necessary skill for uh developers or if you are aspiring to be a developer hackathon gives you a project to showcase if you don't have projects in your resume and you're applying to a job you're like i don't have any projects you apply for a hackathon and you make a project with the team and then you can add it to my resume i have a lot of hackathon projects in my resume that i build with my team because it solves a real world problem and uh, after all a hackathon helps you with networking so but these are a lot of different stuff don't expect to achieve all of them in a single hackathon that will burn you out 
focus on one that you need do you need public speaking skills do you need projects do you need to have fun do you want to network and only try to achieve that in a single hackathon i did multiple hackathons because i wanted to test different things in one hackathon i just want to make a te- make a team like meet new people in another hackathon i wanted to make something really cool and in another one i just wanted to try, try a new technology and in some i just wanted to have fun like just make something like recrawl everyone or make a meme generator and stuff like that so uh yeah all of that is great but choose your uh, stack wisely what you want to achieve and focus on that it's okay if you cannot get everything from a single hackathon hackathons have a lot of things going on simultaneously you are hacking in your table <coughs> and then uh there's a workshop happening on the side and then there's a mini event and there is food so you, you cannot experience everything in a single hackathon if you have done one try another one and try multiple ones uh, it only takes what 24 hours and you don't have to spend 24 hours if you're doing it virtually all of it to hackathon so hackathon provide you a lot given you're ready to take it mm-hmm. let me actually tell you a real world contribution from one of my teammates uh, I'm not sure how many of you have used Flask or know what is Flask. Python Flask is a popular backend framework. If you are new to backend, if you want to learn backend or Python frameworks in general, Flask is recommended to be a really good beginner friendly framework. Basically helps you uh, deploy Python applications to a web server, like you made a game or a website or something like that. And you want to deploy it to a server, you know, a uh, localhost 8080 that you see, a localhost 3000. Flask help you do that. And uh, we were using it in one of our projects. And um, my, one of our teammates pointed out there's something wrong with a module in Flask. Like it was showing an error. Okay. And we don't know what to do because our project was dependent on that Flask module. And then uh, we suggested, hey, since you are working on backend, why don't you just contribute to Flask? And uh, Karuna, uh, our teammate, went to the Flask repository uh, on GitHub, which is public. Uh, she raised an issue that, hey, uh, I spotted an issue with Flask and uh, I want to fix this. She created a pull request fixing whatever that was required and the pull request was merged. That feature is in Flask now and Flask is used by thousands of uh, members, let me see if I can show you that right now. Uh, if I go here and whoops, go to click Python Flask, and let me just type GitHub. Yep. So this feature is now being the Python Flask has 61,000 stars, and a lot more people use Python Flask. Now, Karuna can write in her resume that she contributed to Flask, which is used by more than 60,000 people. That is definitely an eye raiser for a recruiter. That is a great contribution. Uh, And all of that started from Hackathon when we spotted an issue. That is so cool. And I've seen a lot of contributions like that. You started in a Hackathon, you see a problem and you want to solve it. And you ended up solving it at an industry standard, which is which gives you a lot of edge when it comes to off-campus placements or uh, career in general. Uh, you learn about GitHub, you learn how to contribute. You will use this when you're a software developer. You will use GitHub, you will use a version control system. Do you know it? And if you're a participant in a hackathon, you are supposed to know it. So you end up learning through it. So this is one very good example of how hackathons can impact your real career. Uh, Hackathons give you back in much more ways that you can ever think of. It's about you to decide what you want. You may have networks, you want public speaking. You may have networks and public speaking and you have a good uh, knowledge of um, a tech stack. Let's say you're good with Mern stack, but you don't have projects to showcase. Go for a hackathon again. So, uh, how do I how do I search for hackathons, Ashwin? Uh, I don't know any hackathons. Well, uh, my favorite place is DevPost. Uh, DevPost is a very popular platform. Think of it like Facebook for hackathons or LinkedIn for hackathons. I can see all the hackathons that are going here. 
is a snap snapchat hackathon not all hackathons have to be coding so here i think i have to make uh, filters and the prices are crazy like 40000 us dollars that's that's a great price uh but how do i team up ashwin i can go to participants and see like who i want to participate with and uh, just send them a message uh, hey i am interested in participating in hackathons and do that uh, mlh is a great place to participate in hackathon i am a coach there uh, so i go to attend a hackathon both in person hackathons happening in india and virtually i can see it here i know hack this fall is happening in gujarat next week uh, Hackcelerate happening uh, next week. I I'll be there if you want to catch up with me. Uh, that this is a virtual hackathon. Let me let me see if I can drop links to that in the chat. Do I have access to chat here? Oh, I don't. Uh, can you turn on access to chat or let me just DM uh, Surya Tej if they can drop it for me. Dev Post Dev Folio is a great place to check out hackathons. So Dev Folio, I have to just Google it. Oops, not this one. Folio, another great place for Web3 hackathons. If you are into blockchain or a lot of hackathons here, okay, we have a couple of hackathons starting next month. So these are some great places where you can find very cool hackathons, tons of hackathons, more than you can attend. So pick which one uh, interests you based on uh, topic and theme. Uh, If you are new to hackathons or if you are new to in tech in general, I can recommend a uh, Global Hack Week. Let me do another plug there. So Global Hack Week is like a week long hackathon celebration by MLH. If you are totally new, you don't know how hackathons or how networking works. This is like beginner friendly place. So I think next week we have AIML. If you are into AIML, a lot of events happening, workshops happening here. You can register for that. see how people ha uh, attend hackathons and uh, like how do i how do i learn how to code like i don't know anything about code so global hack global hack week is a great place it's weekend long you are free to join and leave whatever you want and the best part is you get free swags for all of that like you get t-shirts you get uh, plushies uh, for participating in hackathon i think i got this one uh, and i got this tumbler for participating in a hackathon lots of incentives just for participating not even to win to win there are great incentives but just by submitting a project you get stickers you get a lot of stuff for free hackathons are supposed to be for free this is important if a hackathon is ask charging you for money that is not typically a hackathon that would be more like a workshop or a session but hackathons are non profit they are supposed to be free they are supposed to empower you uh that was pretty small slide i don't you know like being linear here so uh if you have any questions uh i would like i would love to you know answer any of your problems or any questions that you have around hackathons or tech in general uh do do the audience have access to unmute themselves for post questions yes yes they do have they do have awesome so if any one of you is uh not comfortable with unmuting maybe you can drop a question but if you are comfortable to unmute yourself feel free to ask any question uh anything that's that's totally fine that's bothering you or your friends or if you're just curious to know more about hackathon just let me know uh let's take a minute or two to answer that and then we can wrap up pretty quick uh okay i don't have access to chat so if you want the slides for these let me also drop that with the surya tej so they can drop it in uh your community later if you want to reference for these slides too quick reminder to stay hydrated that's good
Oops. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I don't see any questions. Um, that is okay. If you get uh, any questions later, feel free to correct with me. I don't expect you to ask all the questions or have any questions right now. That's totally fine. Sometimes you may not be comfortable asking that, or sometimes you may not have questions right now. Uh, feel free to correct with me. I usually use Twitter. So it's Ashwin EXE everywhere, my user ID. Ask questions. I uh, encourage asking in public so I, I, others can learn from our conversation. But connect with me with on LinkedIn for questions or anything like that. Totally fine. Totally okay. Uh, that said, I think we are near the end. And uh, that was pretty quick. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much for having me, folks. Uh, I hope you learned a bit about hackathons and uh, try your first hackathon and let me know or let your let your community know how did it feel. Uh, first time it's it can be a bit anxious and nervous, but trust me, people are very welcoming at hackathon. Uh, it's going to be a great experience. So go ahead and try out your first hackathon. It's for MLH. It starts like every weekend. So next Friday we have another hackathon coming. Uh, you can join the Discord. Uh, I, I have dropped the links for everything and how to know uh, with your with, with the team. They will share it to you. So just try out a hackathon and let us know. I hope it really helps you with your career. Definitely, definitely. Today's webinar has been a really great one, and I have enjoyed it. I have listened it from the very beginning, and completely, I was only listening to you. Thank you so much. It's been a very, very great uh, webinar. Now, let me uh, briefly tell what uh, our hackathon is. Uh, guys, we are going to conduct two days national level hash crack challenge named the Hashbreaker 2.0. There will be two members to team. Both VITNs and non VITNs can apply for this event. In level one, a basic hash challenge will be given to identify the message. And participants who clear level one are eligible for level two. In this level, the moderate hash challenge will be given for participants to crack the message, and those who cleared level two are eligible to participate in level three, which will be an advanced level hash challenge. All the members will be given certificates from the Center of Excellence of VIT AP University, and class cash prizes for winners are first prize, it will be 10,000, and second prize, it will be 6,000, and Third winner will be getting 4,000 rupees as cash prizes, guys. And what can I say about this webinar? It was really a fantabulous. Thank you so much, Ashwin. That's what awesome. I think. Thank you so one. much for having me. Yeah, I mean, there you go. You have the first hackathon ready by your own team. Uh, I came to VITAP uh, in and December. And most for of the people. Yeah, go ahead. Most of the people who heard this. Uh, most of the people who heard this webinar will definitely contact you and ask them, uh, ask you to join them as the team in our, in our hackathon. Sure, I'll try my best. Uh, but I would love to have a lot of folks in your hackathon. So go ahead and apply for that. Uh, highly encourageable. All right. Uh, awesome. We can wrap up now. Thank you so Every much for having me. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, every day awesome. holds the possibility of a miracle. So keep hoping for the best and keep shining. And not but the not but not last but not the least. On behalf of the entire NGC club and VIT, I would like to thank our honorable speaker. Thank you, Ashwin. Uh, and I'm not saying so because you felt it very uncomfortable. So I'm just calling you Ashwin. Thank you so much All for right. inspiring and encouraging us with your words on the special day. Special thanks to our club faculty coordinator, Ganesh Reddy, sir, for supporting us on every event and every webinar. And last but not the least, I would like to extend my gratitude to our audience for coming and making this webinar a grand successful one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Bye, folks. Have a nice day, everyone. Yes. Bye, thank Ashwin. you. Thank you, Ashwin. Bye, Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs>